and we're rolling. First off to everyone, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm here with my madly fluctuating camera light to show you what I got for Christmas and do a few video games reviews. First off, what I got for Christmas. Uh, there are a nice few things. I got a text message there, hooray. I got a little packet of marbles, which I thought I'd lost. I call that one Sahara. I also got a bottle of Davidoff, so I will continue to smell nice. I got, uh, on second dust, never mind. I got this motherfucker. Look at this. Look at this thing. It is amazing. This is possibly the greatest thing I have ever owned. It's the Canon EOS 550D. And when it comes to cameras, it is simply a motherfucker. I love it. Like I took one test picture last night and on auto settings and was going, ha 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 ha. That exact noise. Anyway, that's quickly just the Christmas stuff. Let's get that out of the way. What I really want to talk to you about is the video game reviews. First off, Dead Space 2. Download the demo on the PlayStation Network. And, oh my god, it's fantastic. I'm really happy with this. Now, admittedly, it's not a huge departure from Dead Space 1. The set paces are a lot bigger. There's more Isaac. He actually speaks in the game. Dun, dun, dun. And, yeah, that's kind of weird, but... I like the whole he's battling his psychosis. Not a, not a spoiler, by the way. They tell you this in the opening. He's nuts. Just all gone. And he's battling his psychosis as well as demented alien flesh-ripping motherfuckers. And yeah, that's all kind of cool. So I'm looking forward to the full version of the game because I really enjoy the demo. Moving swiftly onwards, game number two. It's probably fucking delicious. It is actually. The Magic the Gathering. It's the card game only on the PlayStation. Now, most people would look at this and go, what? Um, I, can, I can honestly understand that. It's for dirty nerds. And I don't mean dirty as in sexually, I mean dirty nerds as in seriously cheesy beardy nerds. There's going to be a few jump cuts. I'm, I still haven't mastered the whole cohesive flow thing, so forgive me. So yeah, Magic the Gathering, it's it's one for the nerds, it really is. I mean, if you've played the card game, you'll probably enjoy it. If you haven't played the card, card game, you probably don't want to play the card game. So, you can happily ignore this game. For the nerds, though, it is, it's quite fun. Um, it's just like real, really playing Magic. In that, you will want to kill things occasionally. I mean, really, just put your fist through the TV. Which is, you know, that's that's a Magic thing. Well, he's punched the other guy for being really fucking smart. And the thing is, the difficulty seems to change completely at random. Um, I put it on easy on the demo just to quickly fly through it, because I really wanted to get to the Dead Space 2 demo. And, like, the other planeswalker, the other player, didn't block with anything. He had, like, a field of creatures. And I was, hmm, I wonder what happens if I do this. Attack. Just let me kill him. It was really weird. Stupid. And, uh, yeah, I don't really know what I was thinking, but hell, I did it, and there you go. Um, the other demo I played, which was Mass Effect 2, I was actually, again, impressed with. This is all on the PS3, by the way. Mass Effect 2 is coming out for the PS3, and it's going to be built on the Mass Effect 3 engine, which is weird, but, you know, cool. So, uh, sorry, Xbox. I kind of got one up on you there. It's not very fair, but what the hell. Now, Mass Effect 2. The opening for it blew me away. I just went, oh my god, that's fantastic. Really well put together. Flows very well. Dialogue works smoothly into it. Although a few pauses of Shepard going. That I really didn't think worked as well. But the whole product overall worked. So yeah, I heftily endorsed that. The, uh, the mission after the intro didn't hold up as well. But it was still fun. Now, one thing that's been pointed out to me by other Mass Effect players is that they've changed the ammunition system, and that you don't have infinite ammo. I think infinite ammo tends to detract from some games, in fairness, but I don't know. I'm going to play Mass Effect and then and then play 2 and see if my opinion changes on that one. So, more to come. Um, in summary for the reviews, I'd give the Dead Space 2 demo somewhere in the region of 8.5 out of 10. So, it's good. And I'd give Magic the Gathering probably 6 out of 10. 
because let's face it, if you're new to the thing, you're not going to get into it. It's for the existing players. Admittedly, it is cheap though. I'm going to bump that up to 7 out of 10 because it's actually cheaper than buying a deck of cards. Like a deck of magic playing cards, not a deck of actual playing cards. It would probably cost you like 60 cent, but anyway. Uh, Mass Effect 2, I'm going to go ahead and give that 8 out of 10 as well because that's... It, it really, I was very impressed. I kept playing and only stopped when it said, you know, this is going to spoil the rest of the game for you if you keep playing the rest of this demo, so... Fair warning and fair play. I liked it. I'm probably going to be buying Dead Space 2. Cer I'm certainly going to be buying Dead Space 2. I already bought Magic the Gathering, in fact. It was only 8.99. Why not? I had money for Christmas. And I think that I'll be buying Mass Effect 1 and 2. And possibly considering 3 when it comes out. We'll see. We'll see. As I said, I'll keep you posted on that kind of thing. So yeah, that's vlog number three. Thanks for listening.